Welcome in, welcome in, my beautiful souls. It is your girl, Wounded Healer of Tarot, and I am back again with another reading here for you today. This is going to be a general reading for the sign Aquarius. I'm going to be taking a look at what it is that you need to hear, see, and know, most importantly at this time, for your highest good. So if you do resonate with this reading, I truly appreciate it. If you give this message a thumbs up, that is not only one way to support my channel, but it is also a way of letting me know that the message also did resonate with you. If you are not subscribed and you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. All right. So no further ado, I want to dive right into your reading and see what needs to come through. Calling on you, my angels, my ancestors, my ascended masters, my gods, my goddesses, my magical fairy beings, my animal spirit totems. I ask that you place divine protection over me as I tap into the divination of terror. Placing me in this white bubble of light. So let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. Let's see what is going on with you, Aquarius. Show me the current energies surrounding Aquarius. What is it that they need to see, hear, and know? Show me the, the current energies. Two of Cups. The Six of Wands. And the Knight of Swords. You know what? I'm going to go right into it. I was going to do um, a, a general spread, but I'm being guided to do the Celtic Cross Tarot spread. So let's tap into it. Show me the blockage surrounding this Two of Cups, Six of Wands, Knight of Swords. What's the blockage? Hmm. The Eight of Cups in reverse. Show me what it is that Aquarius is needing to focus on. The Two of Swords. I'm picking up on very high priest, high priestess energy in this reading in general. Show me the recent past for Aquarius, the lovers. Three of wands is in your strengths. I'm hearing moving on when that came out. Show me the near future for Aquarius. Show me the near future for Aquarius. The Harrow Fence with the Three of Swords. There's going to be a lot of healing taking place in the near future. All right, Aquarius, let's put this up so I can make some room. And then we're going to tap into your advice. I want to take a look into the advice for Aquarius. What's the advice? The Nine of, Pentac Nine of Pentacles. Show me the hopes and fears. The Four of Pentacles. I'm hearing releasing. Okay. And show me the potential outcome. I'm seeing the Nine of Cups. I want to grab one more on this potential outcome. The Hermits. A lot of reflection on what it is that is truly going to make you happiness. What it is that is truly going to fulfill you here. I see you surrendering in your outcome. Finally surrendering to what no longer is bringing you that happiness i see a lot of reflection going on in your outcome here aquarius so let's dive into your message okay in your current energies you got the two of cups the six of wands the knight of swords you are really hoping for some sort of connection to pan out to work out for you but what i'm seeing is that there is some sort of lingering energy there is some sort of waiting energy i feel like you're waiting for this person to um, come forth with some sort of communication. You're waiting for this person to show some sort of action. Some, I'm hearing some sort of action towards commitment. Okay. But right now in your current energies, you are being told to see something from a higher perspective. I do see you in this person, whoever you're dealing with, whether it's a friend, whether it's a coworker, whether it's a colleague, whether it's something here romantic, whether it's a sibling, you are marrying this person. Okay, so they are showing you your own reflection at this time and your current energies. And that may be a tough pill to swallow. Okay, now going into your blockage right now, you have the eight of cups in reverse. So your blockage is you not walking away, you not releasing, you not moving on from something here. Because it is tied to your emotions. It is tied to your feelings. So something here is definitely pulling on your heartstrings in the blockage is what I'm seeing. Okay. Going into what you need to focus on right now is the two of swords. Spirit is telling you to hone in and go within. 
listening to your intuition, listening to your instincts. Something here about the answers are within. So this is our, giving me an energy of you already knowing what it is that you need to release, what you need to walk away, what you need to let go, what is bringing you happiness, what is bringing you fulfillment. The answers you are seeking are already within. So right now, spirit is really just telling you to truly hone in on self right now, going within, taking some time out so you can truly be able to decipher the messages that you are receiving. So you can truly be able to listen to your intuition wholeheartedly. I'm hearing trust your instincts, trust your instincts, trust your inner knowing. Okay. She's blindfolded. So it's not about your, it's not about what you're seeing on the forefront. It's about what's in here. All right. Now in your recent past, you have the lovers showing up here. Okay. So I feel like you could have recently in your recent past gotten to con back in contact with the lover or a loved one. Um, what I'm seeing here is there was a lot of passion. There was a lot of intimacy. There was a lot of heated mo uh, moments. And intimacy does not have to be sexual. It could be physically. It could be emotionally. It could be mentally. But something here in your recent past, I feel like you reconnected back with someone. There could have been some sort of stalemate. There could have been some sort of bump in the road. But I'm also hearing there is history. So this is telling me that this is someone that you are familiar with. This is telling me that this is someone you 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 are well acquainted with you are well acquainted of okay now going into your um strengths your strengths is the three of wands so your strength is about you knowing when to take action you know believe it or not the three of wands is that energy of movement forward that three of wands is where You've already started to plan. You've already started to think. You already started to be strategic. You already started to be practical. So you've already been in your mind about what decisions it is that you needed to make. And that is also showing me here with this lovers, which sometimes can also represent um, decisions, choices, having to make a having to make a choice, having to make a decision. So I see you were contemplating something here in your recent past that is leading you to knowing that. Aquarius, you can um, go towards something better, okay? You can adventure off. You can leave something behind. That's your strengths. But again, the blockage is something that is tied to your emotions, something that is tied to your feelings. Now, going into your near future, you have the Hierophant with the Three of Swords. You're healing. And this is definitely you learning a lot of a lot of valuable lessons. I'm seeing growth. I'm seeing transformation. I'm also even seeing spiritual awakening here with this heroine being paired with the Three of Swords. And I feel like, you know, it's one of those situations where you'll be like, "Why did I have to go through this? Why me? Why me?" Aquarius. <laughs> You, we already know when it comes to Aquarius, sometimes it's one of those situations where you, you have to hit your head. You have, you had to hit your head. You had to, um, go through whatever it is that you've experienced. You had to go through it. But now that I'm seeing in the near future, there's going to be healing, you know, it's going to be overcoming something here and walking towards a better future with this Hierophant. For some of you, you're going to be connecting with the right connections where it's going to put you in better um, alignment with meeting that person that was supposed to be a part of your future, meeting that, that right companion, reading that, meeting that right um, friendship, connecting with that right job, you know, whatever it is, this is what I'm seeing where even though you have to go through it, it's moving you towards something that is going to be aligned on your path, Okay. I'll, I've been stuttering over my words for my last few videos, so forgive me. Um, in your advice, you got the Nine of Pentacles. So focus on your self-worth, your self-value, your self-love. Focus on healing. Focus on your talents, your skills, your craft. Focus on you. This is a, a, a strong, strong sense of focusing on on you Aquarius your value so I'm getting that door to value energy you know whether it is again your finances your your work your your relationships whether it is how you treat yourself how you take care of yourself focusing on self 
value, self-worth, focusing on self. All right. It feels like truly, again, spending some time alone with really understanding yourself. That's what this feels like. You'll be able to better understand yourself. And when you start to treat yourself better, I feel like a lot of things is going to be changed. OK, not only inwardly, but outwardly. OK, going into your hopes and fears, the four pinnacles, your fears is releasing something, letting go of something. Whether it's you saying, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I can't spend this money or I gotta save this or uh, whether it's, you know, I only can eat out once a, once a month or whether it is, I, I can't let go of this relationship because they bring this, they bring that to the table. It's something here that you're fearing letting go. You're fearing releasing here, okay, is what I'm seeing. Now, going into the, again, the potential outcome, I already said it, I'm going to say it again, Aquarius. You're going to really, truly go within and reflect on what it is that is bringing you happiness, peace, joy, laughter, love, all those good things, right? And also reflecting on the things that are not, the total opposite. I'm catching 515 on my clock 11 11 as well on the clock as well so look up 515 angel number see what that message holds for you all right um is what i'm seeing here now let's get into this reading okay i'm not going to clarify all of these cards <coughs> but i will clarify some of them okay so let's use this deck i actually want to use this deck to clarify show me why the Knight of Swords here is in the current energies for Aquarius. Show me why the Knight of Swords is here. Let's take a look. Show me more about this Knight of Swords for Aquarius. The Ten of Wands in reverse. Give me more. The Four of Wands. Okay. Okay. Give me one more on this Knight of Swords and why it is in the current energies, the tower. Whew. Okay. I'm seeing there is some sort of ending taking place here in your current energies between you and a connection. The Four of Wands. For some of you, it's helping you to release some burden so even though you're waiting for this person to show up with some communication even though you're waiting for this person to show up and express themselves even though you're waiting for something even if it's not from a per i'm seeing a person so i can't deny it to a cups okay i'm not even gonna try to decipher anything else because that's what it is showing me even though this is what you're waiting on aquarius truth be told the tower the ten of wands in reverse and the four of wands this is helping you to release this, this connection that has actually been more burdensome. I'm sorry to say it that way, but that's exactly what I'm seeing. This connection has been more burdensome than it has been victorious. Now, I'm not saying the entire relationship has just been doomed, but right now in these current energies, yeah, that's what that is showing me. Hmm. There is some sort of conflict between you and this person. It seems like maybe not being on the same page or can't agree or can't agree to disagree. Something here where you and this person is just not being on the same page. And I got the King of Cups right behind that. So what I'm seeing in the Queen of Wands, one person is more passionate than the other. One person is more vocal than the other. One more person is more expressive than the other. One more, one more per, one person shows up more in this connection than the other. It's like fighting a battle that you're feeling like you're never going to win. Okay. Show me more about this Two of Cups in the current energies. The Knight of You can I told you. Look. Look. <laughs> The Knight of Swords, you're waiting for communication. You're waiting for some sort of arrival from this person. Look at that Eight of Wands sticking out. You're waiting for some sort of arrival from this person. You can't. Okay. Show me why the Eight of Cups in reverse is the blockage. The Ten of Swords. Woo! I'm not even going to clarify any more than this. Aquarius. Oh, my heart hurts. I don't even know where these emotions is coming from. Whoa. 
It's hurting you more than it is helping you. It's hurting you more than it is helping you, Aquarius. I'm putting back my emotions. Four of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. It's like, even though you're discontent, even though you're bored, even though you're not fulfilled, even though you, you, it's like, yeah, I could, you know what? I should take a, another opportunity. Yeah, I should go towards that new door. Yeah, I should go in this direction. It's, but it's more of a contemplation than actually taking the steps to walk away. And that's why the Eight of Cups is in reverse because you haven't fully taken those steps to walk away. Let's take a look into your focus on this Two of Swords. Show me more around this focus on the Two of Swords. The Four of Pentacles. Give me more. The Ten of Coins. Why is this Two of Swords in the focus? The King of Cups. I'm hearing put your money where your mouth is. I don't know where that came from. We got the Eight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Put your money where your mouth is. So this is like show me better than you can tell me. Stop trying to manipulate me. Stop trying to sway me this way. Stop trying to you know be all up in my ear with this bs show me better than you can tell me put your money where your mouth is oh my god that's 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 a word okay Woo. put your money where your mouth is okay that's what you aquarius saying that's what spirit is telling you to focus on show me better than you can tell me i need action period show me why the lovers is in the recent past the Queen of Cups, something definitely was tied to your emotions. You were giving in this connection. You were nurturing this connection. Did not say it was a lot of passion. Okay, it was a lot of chemistry. Okay, it was a lot. Give me more on this lovers. Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands. Give me more on this lovers. The Page of Cups in reverse. Five of Wands. Again, at the bottom of the deck. It's like not being on the same page. Page of Cups in reverse. Nine of Wands. It's like, I'm, I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to show you. I'm, try, I'm trying to be there. Don't you see me? Like, recognize me. I'm here. Don't you see me? Like, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting. Don't you see me? I'm here. I'm showing you. I'm being committed. I'm, I'm here. I'm present. Like, it's weighing you down, though. It's wearing you out when you're not receiving the same. Page of Cups is in reverse. You're not receiving the same. This is a very emotional reading. I don't know who this is for. And I feel like that's why in your strength, Aquarius, the, I'm not even going to clarify, but the Three of Wands is your strength. You know something in your recent past was not giving you exactly what you needed, and your strength is to... to, to it's better, it's better coming in. It's better coming in. Tell me why the Hierophant and Three of Swords is in the near future. The Nine of Coins. I told you. This is growth. And your growth is knowing your worth. Knowing your value. Queen of Swords. Knowing your worth. Knowing your value. Give me more on the near future for Aquarius. Ace of Cups in reverse. Give me one more. Eight of Cups. Look at that. Told you. I'm not even mad that this Ace of Cups is in reverse because it's telling me you're pulling back your emotions. You're not just going to keep 523 on the clock. 5-5, five, five, okay? 1911 on the clock as well. Look at that magician. You know your worth. You know what you bring to the table. You know every, you, you, you know it because you're wise. Again, look at the owl. You, you, you're now starting to truly, truly. Now you may be, and, and, and please, Aquarius, you may all along be like, oh, I'm, I'm quicker than that. You got to be quicker than that. Oh, I'm smart. You can't get over on me. And that, uh, when, those, when those emotions is attached, Aquarius, and you can say, oh, I'm cold as ice. You can, you, however people want to portray Aquarius to be. At the end of the day, we all got a, a heart that's pumping blood. We got a heart that's pumping 
for love. We got a heart that is pumping that it has a feeling, period. Nine of coins, ace of cups in reverse, eight of cups. You're learning a valuable lesson. And the valuable lesson is you, you teach others how to treat you. So if you are not putting yourself on this pedestal, they're not going to do it. And you are taking back your power. You're taking back your power and you're walking towards the light. You're saying, good riddance. I don't have to stay here. Some cups spill, some cups still standing. I don't got to stay here. You're manifesting your true heart's desires in your near future. I feel like I want to say more with that. You're realizing you are the magician. You're realizing everything you need is inside of you. That's where that nine of coins is coming in at. Okay. We already know that advice is your nine, the nine of pentacles. Your advice is to focus on you. Four of pentacles is in your hopes and fears. Let's just clarify one on that. Four of pentacles in the hopes and fears. The chariot. Ooh, how to move forward. Death card. How to allow endings to take place. How to surrender when you can no longer allow something to stay that is not standing allowing yourself to let go allowing yourself to move forward the chariot the chariot comes after a decision is made that's where the lovers come in that in your recent past making that decision to say no more no more and putting it into it no more why is the outcome the nine of cups with the hermit? The two of wands trying to come through. Give me one more. The justice. Two of wands and the justice. Seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. You're standing your ground. And the justice, again, she's blindfolded. So this hermit is attached to spirits, right? Or not spirits, but I mean, it could be spirits, however you want to look at it, but it's attached to a spirit. 2222 two, two, two on the clock. It's attached to a spirit, right? And what the justice is, it's about allowing spirit to lead you, but it's also about you being honest and accepting the truth at face value. Okay? She's blindfolded. Her feet is not even planted on the ground. <laughs> so you're so powerful. You're so resilient. You're so strong right you are so in tune with not only the spirit world but you're also in tune with yourself this is what this is telling me and the outcome again aquarius you got the hermit with the nine of cups there's a lot of shedding taking place through all whatever this is there's a lot of shedding taking place there's a lot of transformation taking place. There's a lot of releasing taking place. There's a lot of healing taking place. There's a, a lot of acknowledgement taking place. There's a lot of self-growth taking place. There's a lot of a lot, a lot, a lot taking place with all what has taken place in this reading. And only apply yourself as you see in this reading, Aquarius. But ultimately, again, your feet is not planted. So your soul. All I can say is the outcome is justice. Not only because you believed, not only because you trusted, not only because you connected. I mean, I mean, it's just this is giving me beyond your seven chakras. It's it's given what it needs to give. <laughs> And you're not seeing it all through right now, but the outcome is this, your happiness, you know, it, it's your happiness, Aquarius. That's, that's the only way I can say it. All right. So let's get a closeout message on this powerful reading. Okay. Let's get a closeout message. What deck do I want to use? I'm going to use this one. All right. What is the closeout message here for Aquarius? We are going to use the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck, all right? So what's the closeout message here for Aquarius? What is the closeout message here for Aquarius? What's the 
close out message spirit how do we end this reading give me one card how do we end this reading for aquarius what's the close out message thank you all right we have satira the number 17 is aquarius energy satira it says brazen I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The number 17. All right. Here's your message. The temple is warriors. The element is fire. Goddess Satyra is the energy and spirit of Bukstan in Guyana, South America. Satyra is brave, bold, brazen, and barefaced casting a spell with her hips step up go forward partner with the divine to make brazen choices and everything meant to diminish you will elevate you you're elevated off the ground aquarius you cannot i'm tell i'm trying to tell you okay all who mean you harm fall away your hurdles are illusions because you are plugged into the source. Make the brazen decision. What would you dare to do if you knew you couldn't fail? It is brazen to be unapologetically you. It is brazen to speak up for someone not in the room. It is brazen to choose a different spiritual path or career than your community. It is brazen to build your family your way. God slash goddess force energy is brazen here's a goddess declaration i am bold brave shameless and brazen wow you are the number 17 aquarius indeed that is what i have for you my beautiful my beautiful 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 souls don't forget to give this message a thumbs up as you hit that like button share button so it can reach others and if you are not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are looking for a personal reading you can find all my information linked in my description box down below until next time i will see you all very very soon in your next one love and light